I just wanted to remind you guys that we are running a pre-order on these new Eroy shirts. These are going to be limited edition and we will not be printing more in the future. So if you want to support the channel and reserve one for yourself, be sure to go to theboostedboys.com after the video. Well, boys, we are back at Bradenton Motorsports once again with uh, Aero Roy, no, I guess you is, could call this him. this is Monstrosity Roy. <laughs> It's not the prettiest thing, but we're here to test the proof of concept. Over the last few days, we've been busy working on this thing. As you guys saw, we were at the wind tunnel and we made some cardboard panels to go over Eroy and we were able to cut the drag coefficient in half, actually better than half. And we found that after we do the aerodynamic mods, we should have easily 100 more horsepower past the eighth mile. And we're hoping that that should be enough for us to better our time and possibly be the fastest Tesla in the world. We took our cardboard concept from the wind tunnel and we turned it into a sheet metal aluminum body. So this is really thin sheet metal. Each of these panels was only like 15 pounds and they started as four by 10 foot uh, long sheets. So we only probably added 30 to 40 pounds to the overall weight of the car. Got a couple of these Lexan windows on there just so we can see, nothing too crazy. Oh, uh, look at this guy right there. Unbelievable. I saw you leaving a Tesla. <laughs> we just had Cletus roll up. We're actually at a private rental that he uh, put on. So we're out here today to see if this thing runs faster. I was going to make a whole video on just doing the sheet metal, but I think it was pretty straightforward. Just got it riveted on there. And we don't have a back because in the wind tunnel, it showed that adding the back really didn't help us too much. So we figured that that would be another way we could get in and out of this thing. And we'll get to how we get in and out of it in just a second. But yeah, it's just sheet metaled all the way around. We put some vinyl wrap over all the gaps right here, taped up all of the panel gaps. And I see Cletus is inspecting our escape hatch over there. <laughs> I was looking at that, yeah. <laughs> this is actually how we're going to get in and out of this thing. So we got a little step stool and I'm just gonna hop on in. We were crawling in and out through the back, but we looked up uh, NHRA funny car rules and they said you just need a little escape hatch. Nice. So it's basically a funny car. Safety first. Pretty much. So we'll just hop in right here. We can get out if we have an emergency. And uh, yeah, hopefully the arrow has improved enough to take the plaid record. There's a chance this could be the fastest plaid or Let's just go. Tesla in the world. You gotta get it. I, we're only a tenth off, so yeah, hopefully the arrow does it. That might do it. it. Does hot weather affect this car at all? I don't think so. It just depends on the how thick that air is. Yeah, but it's I think really the hot, but yeah, the performance shouldn't be affected too bad. Yeah, we might ride. <laughs> Mr. No Tesla over here. Unless your car still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we just had to choose the hottest time of the year to come do this. It is brutal out today, guys. But we got the Tesla in drag strip mode. The fans are on, getting everything to the optimal temperatures. And they just got the track ready to go. We're hoping we can replicate the same 60 foot as we have on these tires. The best 60 foot we ever had was actually on these. So we're not borrowing any nice tires for today. So we're just hoping we can get that short track down. Hopefully the heat. Uh, isn't making the track too bad because that's always what we're fighting is traction but if we can get a good launch on this thing you know we'll see how good the aerodynamics do regardless of that launch we're going to see by the mile an hour if our uh, sheet metal shell here helps the arrow a ton or not i'm hoping for like 155 plus if we don't see that that's going to be a lot of work for pretty much nothing so we're hoping to see at least a 155 trap speed and if we can do that we definitely know that we will be in the ballpark of being able to run the record so i'm gonna go ahead and hop in and uh, get this thing on the track since the cage is right here, I can just kind of pop on in like so. Feels like I'm getting in a fighter jet. <laughs> All right, guys, we are in Eroy, ready to make our first pass. I've just been driving around getting the uh, draggy calibrated. And it's a freaking hot one in here, so hopefully we can get this done soon so I can start burning some battery on that AC. All right, guys, we're all strapped in. And Eroy here, I am ready to make my first pass. I'm really hoping this uh, Aluminum body does something for us today, guys, because we did put a lot of work in getting this on there. Even though it doesn't look the prettiest, we just need it to perform. And I cannot stress how freaking hot it is in here, guys. But she's fully charged, peak performance is ready. And we're about to see what this thing does on its first rip here. All right, guys, we just rolled through the line here, trying to get some sticky on the tires. Sean said it was 160 degrees on the track surface today, so we'll see if the traction's there. It might be kind of tough. All right, Eroy, here we go. Entering Cheetah Stance. Let's see if this helps. Close. 
906 at 156. So the arrow definitely held, but man, that short track is lacking. We were definitely slow on that 60 foot. It spun a bit, only a 1.6, and that was a 9.1. But that's the fastest I've ever seen the mile an hour go. I saw 160 by the time I let up, so I don't know how fast we were going by the quarter. Our time slip will tell us, but yeah, that 60 foot was down, so I'm not surprised there. So hopefully we can work on that prep, get it back to where it needs to be. But first rip was a 9.1 according to the draggy. Dang, dude. 156. Yep. Definitely picked up mile an hour everywhere. Oh yeah, for sure. To the eighth and to the to the quarter, picked up mile an hour. But the short track was pitiful. Yeah, I felt it slip right away. Yeah, the track is just way greasy. Well, I guess I could just try it again, see if the 60 foot improves. Yep. I mean, it ain't gonna hurt the car. Yeah, it definitely picked up six. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, picked up a lot. Solid first pass, boys. We went 156, which is five to six miles an hour faster than we've ever gone. We actually did go 152 once with James when we wrapped it with some plastic, but it's typically only gone 150 to 151, so a solid five mile an hour. So we're gonna go ahead, and strap back up, try it again. It's just that 60 foot that we gotta figure out. It's super hot out, so the track's not gonna be ideal right now, but we know if we can get that 60 foot back, we should be right there. Come on, leave the line, let's see it. We've got six mile an hour, but going slower. Yeah. The track just ain't there for the short track. Spun again on that second pass. Looks like that one was also a 9-1 or probably another 9-0. Looks like we might have lost our vinyl on the top, so we might have to make a quick repair. But yeah, I don't know if the 60 foot's gonna get much better. The track's just so hot right now. We really need to wait till it starts to cool off. So that second pass was identical to the first one. We hit 156 again, which is solid, but the 60 foot's just not there. The track is way too hot right now. We also lost our vinyl up here. So we're replacing that with some Gorilla Tape. Yep. We'll try it maybe one or two more times, but I don't know if the track's gonna be there today, boys, which freaking sucks. But our aero mods helped a lot. Picked up solid five mile an hour. In layman's terms, on a good night, that track will take your shoe off. Tonight, you just lift your foot right off it. It just and they yeah, freshly sprayed and everything. It's, it's just spinning it's too bad. Greasy. So it's just a short track. The mile an hour is way better. Theoretically, it should be running faster, but our 60 and eighth mile time is down. So it just is what it is. See what that torque's all about. seconds frag dude <laughs> sorry cletus sorry bud <laughs> yup we uh oh. we snapped your belt <laughs> where are you going what, what, what? a lot no not no he bad. just oh. hit, hit it one last time and yeah. the belt was really tight we didn't have the right size belt this morning <laughs> yeah i flipped her off there Better that than something else breaking. Yeah, it ran great. Other than that, it was ripping. You guys are done, dude. <laughs> Never again. Hey, listen though, this is the stuff we like to do for our giveaways. Go out because I don't want this to happen to the guy, or gal who gets it. It runs really good. 
Yeah, did you enjoy it for a minute? Yeah, no, it was sick. Okay, you made it. Yeah. Couple rips. Yeah, we, some nice track we did four there. solid rips. Oh, good. Yeah, she was actually she was very singing. drivable and just easy to use. You might want some like slide in mufflers because, dude, she she rips. <laughs> oh, it sounds great, but so but once it comes online, you're like, God damn. Leave it up to Wyatt to break it. Always, dude. Me and LS is just don't get along. Well, good, dude, you and a lot of things don't get along. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired of the shoes, dude. You gotta get <laughs> water pump. <laughs> Pull your belt we need off, them Jordan, shoe laces. Right? All right, leather belt. Oh, dude. there we go. There you go. <laughs> Can't believe you're giving this thing away, man. I know, dude. I'm really attached to it now. This oh. happens a lot, but this is like my boy right here. Tell them how to get entered. Get up policefreefallen.com, dude. Every five bucks you spend on a t-shirt or hat gets you an entry for this or the Ariel Adam. Whoever the winner is gets to come inside between a more valuable, you know, Ariel Adam or a more, more badass power. Leroy. Leroy Jr. Yeah, it's, it's a good combo. There's only a couple days left, right? It's getting it there. It's Friday at midnight, August 11th. <laughs> Thanks for the plug, brother. Of course. Which one are we doing? Ah, oh, C7. The old bald eagle machine. The old bald eagle machine, dude. So before we get out of here, we're gonna roll race E-Roy with his aerodynamic mods against the bald eagle machine over here. I know, I feel like I'm about to get the, my bald eagles beat uh, electrocuted. You know <laughs> what I mean? We gotta hurry up before the storm rolls in, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah Let's I do this. Tesla's attract lightning. Is that true? Did bald eagles get electrocuted? <laughs> no, they're okay. Is that American? I feel machine like they're about to. We're gonna race, Eroy. Good luck, Racing boys. What, what are we going from? Out of battery. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going from? Uh, thirty-five. I'll just match you. Yeah, you match me, dog. I'll yeah, match the bald gears, eagles. Bro. I just realized I got no gears. We're good. All right, guys, going from a roll against Cletus's bald eagle machine C7 Corvette. It's like a thousand horsepower pro charge vet, but I think Eroy should take him. All right, here we go. Third, I started in second, which I regretted. I, I was just all around an idiot, <laughs> you know. wasn't one of the great show, I was that it? That car I was expecting you to come around me. I let up. I was like, Hey, dude, come on, man, <laughs> take it easy, brother. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I, what is that thing trapped? Normally, like 150s, right? Oh, uh, yeah, it traps like 150. That's why I, I did miss a gear. I missed a gear. I, st I went to second, like thinking that might be better, and then I punched it, and I was like, That was the wrong decision. <laughs> it took a while to get in boost, but then it came. So. Well, that sucks. We have to be done. Did that charge your car with that lightning strike? Yeah, a little <laughs> boost kick in. Yeah, that's why it left so hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Battery's fully charged now. Well, guys, unfortunately, we had to get loaded up. Got a storm rolling in, and uh, they shut the track down. The track just wasn't there today, though. The 60 foots were just garbage, but the two good runs that we did get, we managed to go 156 miles an hour. So the arrow definitely helps. We'll just have to come back when the track conditions are a little better. Get that 60 foot back in the 130s, and she just might be able to do it. Yeah. I accidentally got on your GoPro and deleted that clip of you gapping me. Oh, yeah. that. That's yeah, crazy. Sorry, dude. My bad. Don't know what happened to that. You know, just gone. <laughs> it's okay. I got it on mine, though, so I can post it. Oh, no. It's I accidentally deleted it off yours. Oh. Was saying, yeah. And, and oh. then I accidentally ran the whole GoPro over. So. Oh, so sorry. Man. That's what happened to it. <laughs> We're going to get out of here, come back another day, and uh, hopefully we can get that record, and hopefully this all wasn't for nothing. So <laughs> it's a lot of work it for was a lot uh, of work for. It's nice though seeing the mile per hour gain. Yeah, it's up six miles an hour. Mile an hour is gonna be huge. Yeah, that's the ET right there. Just got the 60 foot back now. Yep, it's that's quicker awesome. to the eighth, or faster to the eighth and quarter. So, 
the track was there, I think it'll do it. Yep, come back, try it again. Definitely need a set of slicks. That'll help too. Yep.